All right, it's day two of previews. This time I will try to read a bit less and look more at the cards. Split files are back, this time they rotate. Um, also they have four different cards in them. Let's see how, let's see want to better talk about it. So lots of different cards in those piles. And it seems like four of each. Um, so we got the herb gatherer plus one three cost plus one buy put your deck into your discard pile look through it and you may play a treasure from it you may rotate the augurs to rotate the augurs oh this is the augur um plus one buy put your deck into your discard pile this is just chancellor look through it and play a treasure from it so Depending on what treasures you have in your deck, this can be plus two, plus three, plus five. Um, that's kind of neat. So with the casual silver opening and not having it in the hand. Um, but it's also thinning out the deck of treasures a bit, because then if you play on and draw more, it has one less treasure, but that's not that important. Okay. We, I guess we need to see a lot more of those. Acolyte, you may trash an action or victory card from your hand to gain a gold. You may trash this to gain an augur. Okay, so you can turn your action and victory cards, estates and, I don't know, bad actions from hand to golds. That's of course a bit good with Herb, herb Gatherer, but uh, I mean, it's transmute. <laughs> You may trash this to gain an augur. So when it's done doing its stuff, you can gain something else with it. Sorceress, 5 plus 1 action. Name a card, reveal the top card of your deck and put it into your hand. It's if the name card, if it's the name card, each other player gains a curse. So you have plus 1 card, plus 1 action either way. And then if you guessed the card correctly, um, it's an attack. That's kind of fun. <laughs> maybe not, maybe that's just like super random because you hit all the time and I never hit, but we will see. And then Sybil, plus six, whoa, plus four cards, plus one action. Put a card from your hand on top of your deck and another on the bottom. So effectively it only increases your hand size by one. But you get a lot of search space and only one of the cards has to go back on top. It doesn't have to be one of the four, whatever. Um, and then that combos with Sorceress. So these two combo very well. Um, but I suppose uh, they are like the ones you can only get later. And these are the ones you get early. Let's see what the text says. So the pile starts with four copies. Of Herb Gatherer, then Acolyte, then Sorceress, then Sybil. Sybil, of course, the last one. And you can only buy again the top card. But the first card lets you rotate the pile. This puts all copies of whatever's on top onto the bottom. If the top has three Herb Gatherers and then Acolytes rot rotating it, puts all three Herb Gatherers on the bottom. If it was just one Herb Gatherer, then Acolytes, then one Herb Gatherer goes on the bottom. Also, you basically uh, reveal the next uh, step from that, from the rotation. So you definitely, even with uh, instead of the usual slit piles here, you can go through them without buying them. If the pile has different cards left in it, then rotating it will uncover a different one. That gets you through the pile. So, okay, here Herb Gatherer does the rotating, but is terminal, so um, you can't combo it that well with Acolyte, which you can trash to gain one of the Augur. Um, and then the other two are the ones that you really want, I guess. Okay, cool. Uh, so, Odysseys. The old map, this is the thing that it starts with. 3 cost, plus 1 card, plus 1 action, discard a card, plus 1 card. You may rotate the Odyssey. So that's just like a simple filter effect. Uh, mini mini seller 
after plus one card plus one action but it's forced I don't know that's like whatever then a duration voyage plus one action if the previous turn wasn't yours take an extra turn after this one during which you can only play three cards from your hand oh so it's outpost but you can only play three cards from the hand that includes treasures um, so you are pretty limited in what you can do in this extra turn but I like that that makes it a bit less strong um, also less slow in the execution um, it's non-terminal so I mean whatever I think it's best with like non-engine decks that just play like three treasures and then you might buy something good um, sunken treasure 5 gain an action card you don't have a copy of in play so that just straight up gains you action cards that you didn't play um, works well with all these differently named rotation piles um, and I guess works well with the voyage pretty crazy actually mm pretty good combo with Voyage. I mean in your usual engine deck it's maybe not that great but yeah kind of nice with reserve cards or cards that don't stay in play like experiments and then the last one Distant Shore an action victory victory card plus two cards plus one action gain an estate worth two coins um, I mean it <laughs> It's a lab that gains the states. I don't know if we needed that. Um, but it's worth two. And puts the game closer to an end. Maybe you can do something with the estate later. Not the card I really wanted for my engine, but maybe it's a decent payload card that you gain for free with Sunken Treasure. I'm not sure. And I mean, some filtering. Uh, the estate's kind of get mitigated by filtering of old map not sure about that one that seems a bit awkward uh, and then um, a lab that gains us states and is worth victory points um, what do the randomizers even look for I'm glad you asked okay so they have all four pictures that's funny and then split piles are a lot to process so here's one normal pile okay we get not one normal card as well swap plus one card plus one action you may return an action from your hand to its pile to gain to your hand a different action costing up to five okay so that works well with cheap actions making them to five costs um, Good counter against ruins works well with the rotation piles, I guess. Maybe not because they are returned to the action pile. What even happens if we re return? I guess it goes just on top if you return something else from the rotation. Then you have to rotate that again. That's that's could get a bit fun, <laughs> a bit awkward tracking whatever is now on top. Mm. But other than that, that's decent payload if you can uh, return cheap actions. Whoop. Okay. Cards turn into other cards and leap into the fray, but it even buy it even if you don't know what it will possibly do for you, you won't regret it. Okay. This can of course mess up the order of split files. Oh, and also it gains to your hand, so you can swap whatever you need right now so that makes it a bit stronger you can even like swap the village you have an extra in hand for this turn into a smithy and then draw on and then swap another smithy into the village you had back later so I mean it costs five so has to do something big but that's uh, pretty good as well having some flexibility good with rats <laughs> sure if you have some actions that multiply somehow and then we get two more allies nice um, so what else can we do with the favor tokens crafters guild at the start of your turn you may spend two favors to gain a card costing up to four onto your deck 
Okay, so this one costs two favors to do what's its stuff and gains you four costs right onto the deck and right at the start of your turn. So if you have just one cantrip in hand, um, you can plan whatever you need to draw next turn. Don't think that works this well with uh, like gardens and stuff you don't want to draw because, well, after all, they go into the hand and it's two favors might be quite costly. But yeah, probably pretty useful. And then city state, when you gain an action card during your turn, you may spend two favors to play it. Okay, so this just uh, lets you innovation on demand um, with with two favors. So. Here it can really work out if you have a de uh, um, an engine that gains a lot of actions mid-turn and then some cheap uh, favor generator, generator that uh, will be quite nice. Also in, uh, in contrast to innovation, it can be any action, not just the first one you gain. Um, yeah, cool cards. I like the concept. Um, we will see how that works out, but of course it will be quite a blast to try it and we will do that soon. So thanks for watching and bye.